Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Man United career mode on FIFA 22. Now today, no bullshit. If you thought it's the last episode, then you will know. Ronaldo was injured by Craig Dawson in the West Ham game and has picked up an ACL injury, which will leave him out for seven months. And his XG, 1.75. His projected goals were 64. Now it's going to be around 12. Because the game he will be returning at is this one. The one against Chelsea is the one he's most likely going to be returning for. But Ronaldo is kind of an overpowered human being. So it could be earlier, it could be later. But that means there is an open spot at striker. Now, which player is going to take it? I think for Aston Villa, because I want to kind of focus Premier League a bit more than Champions League. We're going to do a mixed lineup for both games, but we do need to win our Champions League game and prioritize that. So. We're going to kind of play a second team of sorts. Uh, we're going to have Tellez. Uh, we're going to kind of change around a lot of the team. Uh, Maguire. Do I want to put Lindelof on? Not really. Like, the last game he had for us was dreadful. That was probably his worst game I've ever seen. So who I do want to bring on, though, that has really impressed me. Where is he? For this game... I can't. I was going to bring on one matter because he had a really impressive performance. But I can't, so... Well, he's too tired. Uh, so, for this game, we're going to play... Okay, play Cavani up front. Uh, Sancho will be replaced by Rashford. Alanga will play. Um, we'll play Fred and Uh Actually, no, we'll play Matic for the first bit. We'll rest Pogba for Zidane Iqbal. Uh, let's bring off Juan Masaka for Hardly. We'll leave him. We'll leave Varane on the bench as well. Um, you know what? We'll leave Lingard on the bench because I want to bring him on after like 30 minutes or so. I don't want Fernandez to play the full 90, but. This will be our team to go against Aston Villa. Now, you can see the problems with the squad depth. If United had this squad depth for the entire season that we have now, we would die. So, uh, let's just get to the press conference. Okay, welcome. <sighs> nice drink before we get this press conference going. So, will Lingard get his chance? I have to adapt for each game, if I'm being quite honest. Uh, the next one is... Be unbeaten so far, can you keep the run going? Um, I'd say we're hard to play against. Um, our attack has been really good this season. Also, we've lost Ronaldo, so that's going to be a big impact. Will you change anything today? Um, yeah, we'll adapt as we need to. Aston Villa is a very different opponent to West Ham. Uh, they're both very similar in like the division, but I think we just need to focus well, more on the defensive Thank side you. of Aston Villa. Alright. Shall we uh, take a look at the Aston Villa side that we have to face? Uh, we're giving some chances to some youngsters to today, though. Let's do that. Instead of playing Bruno, we're going to play uh, Hannibal, I think, you know? We'll play Hannibal Mejbury. Bit of a experience thing. We'll also, for the first time, play Charlie Savage as well. We'll keep the front three the same because there's not really much we could do about that. But the probable lineup for Aston Villa looks pretty strong. Leon Bailey in midfield with Sanson and Nakamba. Digne, Mings, House, and Cash. No Jacob Ramsey. Coutinho on the left, Ings in the middle, 
Wendy are on the right. Emmy Martinez is a very cocky bastard. I don't like him, but let's get into the game. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. At home, you can see the press already to see the Man United players coming out of the tunnel. This is a chance for some of the youth to prove their worth against a top-level team. Marcus Rashford has been given the captaincy for today. And I think it was the right choice. Maybe De Gea could have taken the captaincy, but it was always up to Bruno at the end of the day, and he felt confident that Rashford could deliver under the pressure. But some young players in, Charlie Savage, Hannibal Mejbury, Edison Cavani, player to watch, three appearances, no goals yet. Now, could Cavani get his first goal of our Premier League campaign? And he does have a lot of youth around him, so they're going to be fired up. They're going to be wanting to prove themselves in that shirt. And that man there, Steven Gerrard, public enemy number one. Former Liverpool player. Of course, that will rattle the fans a lot. But I think, confidence-wise, Man United are looking pretty good. Last episode was terrible for us. We did get a win, but we did uh, we did succumb to our first defeat in the Champions League to Villarreal. The game was just against us last episode, but this is the Man United side. David De Gea in goal, Delo, Maguire, Lindelof and Tellez to do the back four. Zedanic ball, Charlie Savage and Medford in midfield. Rashford, Cavani and Alanga to go up front. A lot of youth players in this team, especially the midfield, mainly controlled by our youth academy. Emmy Martin has a starting goal for Aston Villa. Cash, House, Mings and Digne for the back line. With Sanson, Nakamba and Leon Bailey in the midfield. But Wendia, Danny Ings and Felipe Coutinho will line up the front three for Aston Villa. Now ladies and gentlemen, we will be kicking off. We, as the home side, it will be Man United versus Aston Villa. Cavani calling for Hannibal. And we are underway as Charlie Savage picks up the ball. The number 72, Charlie Savage, number 70, what, number 46, Mejbrin, number 43, what, number 73, Zidane Iqbal. A very weird lineup, I must say, but I'm confident. And so, is, well, the manager and I, we are the same person, we're confident. I'm hoping this delivers. Um, it's just the midfield that's getting a big chance here. But. We just want to play it slow, see what the opponent does. Not being, they're not being uh, ad very advancing, they're just being a bit cautious, letting us play the ball here. Oh, Savage gets tackled from behind and it's not a free kick. Ings picks the ball up, looking for a counter-attack. Emi Buendia to Sanson, back to Emi Buendia. Alex Tellers needs to chase down Buendia, who passes it back to Matty Cash. Over to Ings and it's offside. I'm surprised. That, that was not a free kick before. That was an absolute slide and a half into the back of Charlie Savage. Alanga pelted it down the wing. Mighty Cash is trying to meet him. Alanga though picks the ball up, gets it to Charlie Savage, who gets it to Hannibal Mesbury. To Edison Cavani, oh, to Zidane Iqbal. Not Edison Cavani, my bad. There's Edison Cavani. The the poacher for Man United today. Now the question is, can we capitalise with this youth, this fire, the aspirations of our youth players in the midfield? Sanson to Emi Buendia. Tell us needs to go meet him here quick. Oh, De Gea comes out and gets the ball. Passes it a bit dangerously to, to Lindelof there. Alanga gets past Matty Cash. Who tries to get it to Cavani, but he overestimated Cavani's pace in the final third there. We know Cavani's pressing ability is absolutely stellar, but he does not have Ronaldo esque pace in the final third. I think Alanga's missing Ronaldo's off ball attacking play. And Leon Bailey with a shot, but David De Gea with a great save as it is a Man United corner kick but just look at the power displayed by the Jamaican who could have actually played for the England team poor choice 
in my opinion, but it's whipped in. Rashford gets his head on it just slightly. Emi Buendia to Digne. To Leon Bailey. Back to Buendia. Just wide for Aston Villa. Man United have received a goal kick. Maguire to Lindelof. Oh, to Zidane Iqbal. The first Iraqi player in the Premier League. History made for this man. Who tries to pelt it up to Hannibal Mejbri. Can he get the ball? Matty Cash defeats him in the physicality battle. And Matty Cash tries to get it over. But Harry, Harry Maguire with his big frame gets it the way to Dan Iqbal. To Edison Cavani. Cavani's muscled off the ball by Tyro Mings. Felipe Coutinho. Over to Ings. Lindelof challenging the English striker. And he succeeds in doing so. Oh, Maguire with a terrible mistake to Danny Ings. Ings! And Tellez, well, De Gea with a good save. Tellez picks it up. Hannibal Medjbury now to Enesu Cavani. Can you see the run from Antti Alanga? He does. Alanga, the position of this man is absolutely amazing. And Alanga's tackled for a free kick. Yellow card to Matty Cash. Finally, the referee paying attention with his boggly eyes. Whipped in by Rashford. Uh, and Cavani! Nearly. It's off the post. Alex Tellez on the ball now. Can you see the run from Cavani? Cavani. Tries to get back to Tellez. And it is. It could be an Aston Villa counter attack. But Maguire gets the ball. Hannibal. Tries to get to Cavani. But Courtney House positions himself in the perfect place. To stop that that ball. But Maguire does the same. Rashford. With Rubona. Zidane to Cavani. Tries to get to Hannibal. Alanga to Hannibal. Savage back to Hannibal. Tries to get to Cavani. My United midfield doing well so far against a very highly renowned opponent in Aston Villa and Emi Buendia tries to get the ball but Lindelof great defensive work really trying to redeem himself after his terrible display in the last game Hannibal finds his way through in the midfield to Cavani Cavani tries to get past back to Hannibal is Hannibal through Hannibal first goal for Man United ever no Cavani Hannibal was so close to getting his first ever goal as in a Man United shirt in Old Trafford. And he hits it right at the keeper as half time has dawned on us and it is goalless in the theatre of dreams. Man United nil, Aston Villa nil at the break. Here we are ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be kicking it back underway. No changes for either team. As the start of the second half goes, the Dan Iqbal, great interception, great press. Cavani, there's an open space. Edison Cavani, and it's a goal. Cavani running straight to the fans in its fourth game this season. Cavani has finally converted. Great press by Zidane, gets it. But Zidane Iqbal gets it too. That man, Edison Cavani. Who slots it top right? Emi Martinez suck on that one. As it is, Man United one, Aston Villa nil. Tavani, pretty much a fan favourite after breaking the number number seven curse at Manchester United. And has now got the number 21 curse after Dan James left. And he has taken his number. Hasn't really gone well for Cavani. Been injured 88% of the time. Brilliant pass to Antti Alanga. Does he have the pace to get past Courtney House? He does indeed. Antti Alanga. And it's off the post. So close. Come on. We'd get this. We'd get into the back of the net, man. Come on. Now Buendia's on the attack. Tellez. With a good interception. Tellez just pressing. 
Bloody dear where it hurts until he bleeds out. I mean, Bloody dear tries to get it. And Maguire nearly costs, costs it, but at the same time he saves United from getting Aston Villa a goal. Hannibal to Cavani, back to Charlie Savage, to Zidane Ball. Can he see the run for Marcus Rashford? Rashford taking his time, and it is 2 0. The fans are erupting in the crowd at Old Trafford. Their captain for today, Marcus Rashford, gets a goal, and Zidane Ball gets another assist. Great day for Zidane Ball, the first Iraqi football player to get multiple assists in the Premier League. Absolutely elated and Rashford has found the back of the net as it's Man United 2, Aston Villa 0. Tellers again, great pressing there. Alanga back to Hannibal, not to Medrick, back to Hannibal, to Zadarik Ball, to Cavani. Cavani, can you see the run from Hannibal? Oh, Wendia to Danny Ings to Sanson over to Leon Bailey. Bailey's through De Gea with a great save, putting Man United back on the front foot. Hannibal, can he get to the ball? He does. Cavani's on it now. There's a Cavani. Kind of forced to go wide here by Courtney House. Sees a run from Diogo Dolo. Alanga! Zidanek ball, and it's over the bar. What a play by these young Man United lads. If I'm not wrong, nearly half the field is Man United Youth Academy only. Five players, Alanga, Rashford, Savage, Iqbal, and Hannibal. Sanson on the ball. Charlie Savage chasing him down. Could Charlie Savage do as good a job as his dad, Robbie Savage? And Leon Bailey misses. There's a sub. Nakamba coming off for McGinn. The tireless Scotman is now going to cause some real problems for the likes of Hannibal and Edison Cavani. But less about that, the better. Charlie Savage, is he through? Charlie Savage goes for it! And it's Charlie Savage! His first goal ever in a Man United shirt! He's done it! Charlie Savage in front of his home fans! Where his dad once laid claim. And he has finally done it with an assist from Edison Cavani! What a goal! Charlie Savage has got to be so proud of that. He has finally done it. His first goal in a Man United shirt. His dad's got to be so proud of that one. And it's Man United 3, Aston Villa 0. Aston Villa surely cannot come back from this. Never say never in football, but it is becoming increasingly likely that it's a never. Maybe Buendia over to Luca Dean. Tara Mings, Rashford intercepts the ball. Marcus Rashford going on a run here. Cutting inside. Over to Alanga. Cavani, Rashford. What a mess that was. That was havoc reaped at its finest. Leon Bailey. Now over. And he is out for a throw in. And Aston Villa make another change. Number 15, Bertrand Traore, just having that little that little burst of speed that Aston Villa need in their counter attack. That's a Cavani. Hannibal Medjury. Medjury. Who sees Anthony Alanga free? Marksman. Alanga gets it in the back of the net. Anthony Alanga 
the big threat for Manchester United. Rhythm has a dancer and his name is Anthony Alanga. Great goal, composing himself, doesn't care about John McGinn trying to close it on him. Emmy Martinez beaten at the back post. Great curl and goes to celebrate with the Man United loyals and his friends in the Youth Academy. And it's Man United for Aston Villa, nil. This is probably the best case scenario that all of these youth players that want to prove themselves have had. Charlie Savage living up to his last name and has scored his first ever goal for Man United. Anthony Alanga on the ball again. Alanga's gonna try it. And Martinez with a brilliant save. Most keepers would have tipped that out for a corner, but Martinez knew just where to position himself for that one. And Rashford gets pressured off the ball by McGinn. Leon Bailey tries to get up to Coutinho, but it is headed back down to Dan. To Rashford, Cavani turns. Finds Alanga free. Alanga running through the middle. Sees Cavani. Cavani. Can he make it five? And Martinez saves it. But it's not It's not over. And it is finally. Man United have shown an impressive display. The youth talent in the midfield have just been superb. Everyone getting involved in the goal sheet. Cavani finally scoring his first. But for me, man of the match is our own Charlie Savage. As is Man United 4, Aston Villa 0. That is exactly what we needed. And Charlie Savage, as you see there, the man who has just set the world alight, scores in his debut against Aston Villa. What a game. And Man City win against their rivals, which I'm presuming is Liverpool, but we'll find out about that later. And uh, it looks like Bruno Fernandes has reached his max potential. Not for long though, because we're going to have him as a advanced playmaker. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm really impressed with how Zadik Bob got two assists. Hannibal Benjamin had a great game as well. Alanga had a brilliant game. But I'm hoping our top men can improve. But Tom McGuire should not get distracted because he's leaving at the end of the season. But after that brilliant game, we are going to set up our starting 11 for this game. I think we're going to keep a Langer on. We're going to bring off Rashford first, Sancho. But we're going to play Sancho on the left and a Langer on the right. Kanidu Kulibari and Ferran as our back line. Pogba and Bruno Fernandes return. McTominay in defence. Shaw in take out Zidane for. Uh, we'll go with Wabasaka. And Tellers for Shaw. And Patrick Schick will come into the squad for this game. Uh, we'll also be having Wambasaka start for this game. Alright, so that's the team that we're going to bring in to Italy. So, let's you know, I think it's time that we go and face off against Atalanta. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, back again at Old Trafford. But this time, bigger stakes as we need this win in the Champions League after losing against Villarreal 3-2.
and from what I've seen, the Atalanta team ain't that bad. They've got a really solid defence. Have they as they signed Gerard Piquet? But here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Man United versus Atalanta is underway. As Bruno Fernandes is going to be leading our players out of the tunnel. We're playing a lot of our first team today. Obviously, we're missing people like Delo from the starting eleven because we do have Everton in four days' time, which we will be simulated. I do believe. Uh, obviously, Alanga is going to be a bit tired, but he's going to be playing out on the right. Sancho is on the left for this game. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Patrick Schick, Pogba back in the lineup. Oh, we're McTominay. Now this partnership here for Radon Koulibaly has been impressive so far. Wambasaka, still good at his defended, defensive capabilities. De Gea, brilliant as ever. And there he is, our Portuguese maestro, Bruno Fernandes. Obviously, uh, we are missing a very key component in Ronaldo, who is out until the beginning to mid of April which is over six and a half months time. But, ladies and gentlemen, we do have some good substitutes we can bring on, including Cavani and Tellez. But there's our starting 11, and you see Sancho and Alanga starting in different positions. Alanga on the right this time, Sancho on the left. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, another photo of the Man United squad huddled together without Ronaldo this time unfortunately as um, obviously we know what's happened with Ronaldo but there's the Atalanta players as you'll see Gerard Piquet is at Atalanta but here we go Marancho on the bench as well I've been I've always been wary of him when we play against them so Pata's gonna have some good pace Ilikic is always good at passing through that defensive hole that we usually have on the left side. So we just need to keep aware of that. But there's the main man we need to worry about, Duvan Zapata. As they will kick off, Man United versus Atalanta is underway. Freuler to Palisades, back to Freuler. Oh, Sancho intercepts it to McTominay. Paul Pogba now over to Amasaka. Back to Fernandez, to McTominay, Schick, trying to turn Dimstry, but it is being pressed, pressured and intercepted. Ilikic to Devan Zapata. Freuler tries to get the ball, but Wambasaka yet again is one-on-one -on -one defensive capabilities. That's Schick offside, just though. Schick went a tad bit too early and tried to come back on. We'll see how close that is, though. Yeah, that was definitely offside. But Gerard Piquet in the middle is going to be very tricky to get past him. He may not be at his prime, but he is definitely still one of the best in Europe. Popper to Patrick Schick to Luke Shaw. He tried to get through that back line. Three at the back is going to be very easy to break down. But obviously the left mids and right mids in this four, well this three four two one, will obviously act as wing backs in the defence if necessary. Koulibaly tries to intercept, he does, leaves just enough time for Shaw to pick it up. Koulibaly now drives it back, gets it to Tomane. Tomane again drives it back to Pogba. Can Pogba spot out any of the wingers? He does. Antti Alanga has space on the wide angle. You see Zappa Costa against Alanga. Alanga rolls the ball. Dimstri gets the attempt to Wambasaka with a tackle. It is a warning, but the Man United play has been broken down. Gerard Piquet to Dimitri. Wambasaka clears the ball, gets it to Varane, to Pogba, to Matomane. Fernandez sees Patrick Schick's run. Can Schick score again? Oh, what a save by Musso. Great block there. Schick tried to go for the back post, but what a block. He made it look a bit too dramatic though, which is something we could exploit. Bruno Fernandes to Sancho. 
Sancho trying to get past the pattern here. Obviously, we know Sancho, one of the best dribblers in the Prem. Sancho tries. He just got surrounded there. Bruno Fernandes to Scott McTominay to Paul Pogba. Who sees Sancho? Sancho, in his moment of freedom there, tried to go for it. Here's Man United corner again. Bruno Fernandes passes it to Sancho once again. Sancho. Oh! Chops it past him. And Sancho took a bit too long there to go for that. But Abdel Hamid, 3.35 million to Stead. Well, to Atletico PR from Stead to Rims. And I'm really showing that there isn't a short goal kick here. Sancho against Coop Miners. Sancho wins it. Schick. Not quick enough there. Froiler to Mete. McTominay gets it to Schick. Schick over to Ante Langer. Can you see the run? Oh, Pogba gets it. Over to Sancho. Sancho kind of got a bit of space, but everywhere else around him is pretty much secured by Atalanta. Shaw back to Sancho. To Pogba. To the top. We just have to pass it round here, basically. Over to Wabasaka. Back to McTominay. To Bruno Fernandes, who has a bit of an opening, but Gerard Piquet. Obviously, Rafa Varane knows him very well as them two used to play for Real Madrid and Barcelona, respectively. Oh, Schick. Schick finds an opening. Patrick Schick! And a great save from Musso. It's a corner. Schick kind of spazzed it out. If he doesn't score a goal in the first 30 minutes, he kind of spazzed it out a little bit. Or oh, that might just be the game. Fernandez again, short corner to Sancho. Back on Zapata. Sancho doesn't really have much place to go here. Whips it in. McTominay! Close, McTominay goes for it again. Anthony Langer! What a triple save from Musso. Coop Miners now, trying to get the ball out. Luke Shaw pressuring Toloi. Coop Miners whipped it out, but Varane tried to beat Ilikic. Zapata, the man that we told to watch out for. But Varane heads it, well, chests it down. McTominay over to Sancho. No. Ilikic, great interception again by Varane. Shaw tried to run to the ball, but Coop Miners blocked it. But look at the, the possession, 77% to Man United. Oh, Sancho tries it. Oh, that was stupid. My bad. Man United. Well, the Man United fans not looking so impressed. As Musso whips it up. So far, man of the match, in my opinion. Musso with that amazing triple save. On the Saka to Pogba to McTominay. Can you see the run from Sancho? He does. What a ball. Sancho gets it down. Jaden Sancho! Just wide. The ball just wouldn't come down enough. And it's just wide of the post. And it is a Man United, well, a Atalanta goal kick. This time they beat Musso to, in the goal, but it went wide. And McTominay with a brilliant ball, by the way. Back to Pogba, to Bruno. Back to McTominay, back to Pogba. Two chicks down and it's a free kick. Bruno Fernandes stepping over the ball. Obviously, there are some good options as well to take this in. Pogba and Tellez. No, wait. Tellez ain't on the pitch, my bad. But it seems like Bruno's going to be the one to take it. Bruno takes it. Whips it up and it's just hit the post. That was a great free kick, but nothing's come of it. Musso going for a long goal kick again. Koulibaly beats the Atalantan. Bruno Fernandes now. Can you see the gap to Patrick Schick? He does. Schick over to Sancho. Great ball, but it is deflected. And it is half time. Damn it. <sighs> Goalless again. It has been absolute domination from Man United though. We just haven't capitalised on our 
chances. We've had like 10 chances in the first half, but it is goalless at the half time break. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back for the second half of a very dominant game here. I've just looked at the stats. We have a 3.6 XG. We've had 10 chances on goal and we've had 74% possession. Sorry, 76% possession. Froiler now, two Zappa Costa. One very world class left wing back slash left back slash left midfielder. And Coop Myers is open! The Rangit curse. The Rangit curse. We got. It was a curse. And De Gea just couldn't position himself right. He just looked very wobbly and yeah, we've got seen in the first five minutes of the second half. It's Man United nil. Atalanta one. Damn it, we should be winning this. Shake to Bruno. To Luke Shaw. And you see the the kind of play five four one in defence. Luke Shaw over to Shake, but Musso gathers his thoughts and the ball. Coop Miners there. Luke Shaw gets the ball to Jaden Sancho. Who sees the run from Bruno Fernandez? Bruno Fernandez shoots! Musso again saves it! Come on! That should be ours. Here's a corner kick. Are we going to go for the traditional? Nope. We're going to try and get it on the noggin of Patrick Schick! Alanga gathers the ball though. Alanga has a bit of breathing room. Ah, McTominay though gets the ball. Pass it to Pogba. Pogba back to McTominay. Tries to get to Sancho. That was not where I wanted it to go. Come on. It just seems in the Champions League we can't perform. Well, we can, but we just can't cons like, concentrate enough to get our performance on point. Like, we've been the most dominant side by far. McTominay tries to go off shore. But it's just these little moments here. We just need to capitalise on their mistakes. They keep capitalising on ours. Get to Pasaka. And Masaka tries to get past Zappa Costa, he does. Whips it in, but it's straight to Musso. Or Musso, or whatever the fuck you want to call him. Kicked out. Tries to head it down. Froiler, Pogba intercepts. Can he get them four? Dim Street, and it is a free kick. Red card for Pogba, what? Come on! That was a yellow at best. He tried to go for the ball. Well, that doesn't show the whole story. Lingard coming on for Bruno Fernandes. I want to say Bruno for the Everton game. Oh, Alanga. That was a mistake. Miscommunication by the Atalanta players. Alanga on the ball. Can he find Lingard? Come on! Where's our communication? Where is our chance? Well, we've got chances. But where's our conversion, man? We're going to have like a 4x gene by now. Should be 4-0 or something. Come on, Zappa Costa to Froiler, to Zapata, back to Froiler, Varan gets the ball. Ante Langer, put in to Schick, back to Lingard, can he find Sancho? Sancho, brings the ball down, Jada Sancho pushed off the ball by Toloi. It's not a penalty, and it is an Atalanta attack now, underway. We need to be getting these chances in the back of the net. Oh, it's just... We're different without Ronaldo. That's... This is not life after Ronaldo. This is life without Ronaldo at the moment. And it's been absolutely dreadful. De Gea with a save. We'll have to go for it. 4-2-4. Four, Langer on the left. McTominay there. McTominay coming off for Cavani. We have to have Lingard like kind of central here. We have to bring Ruran up. We just have to play the best we can. Bring Basaka up as right mid. Luke Shaw. Left mid. We just need everyone up. 
pile sack as well. I'll get some uh, instructions on these lads. Join the attack. Join the attack. Get into that box. Stay central. Get in behind. He's got to false line it. He's got to quick side. Get in behind. Get into the box. You're getting into the box. You're free roaming and getting in behind. We need everyone up the fucking pitch. Cavani coming on for McTominay. Last minute. We have 15 minutes left. Palisic! Pasolik, sorry. Nearly destroys our confidence in the matter of seconds. Koulibaly and Varane, the only real defensive capabilities now that we have have been rested on them and it's out for throwing. Come on! This is the last ditch attempt here. We have tw we have 11 minutes to go. Well, 12, 11 minutes left. Devan Zapata, Koulibaly steps. Varane gets it up to Cavani who finds Sancho. Can he find Lingard? He does. Lingard, he's through. Jesse Lingard, shoot! Yes! Jesse Lingard, let's go! We could be going on for our first point. Finally, we score. Thank you, Jesse Lingard. Man, we need to keep Lingard for next season. But if we don't, then whoever gets it, you are a very lucky team. Wambasaka to shake. Last ditch. Fergie time goal. Everton. Man United two. Atalanta one. Patrick Schick. He's done it again. And it is another goal. The 4 2 4 has worked. And it's two goals within the space of three minutes. Atalanta have crumbled. And Old Trafford. What an occasion. Persina. Darun. Oh, to Zapata. But Varan. Varan can't get him there. Darun. De Gea with a save. Well, I'm going to keep McTominay off for now. I want McTominay to play against Everton. It's whipped in. Coop. Zapata tries to get it. Koulibaly hits it out. Can Sancho get the ball? Boga. Dimitri. Coop Miners back to Dimitri. Come on. Keep this lead. Coop Miners to Devan Zapata. Zapata tries to pass it. Luke Shaw. Brilliant. Cavani sees Sancho on his own. Jaden Sancho. My voice is nearly lost because of this. Sancho. Anthony. Alanga. And it's full time. Get in. 2 1. The infamous 4 2 4 in the last minute works. We've got the win. Patrick Schick, Jesse Lingard. They've won the game for us. The lads came together in the last ditch effort and it has rewarded themselves greatly. And it's Man United 2, Atlanta 1 at Old Trafford in the Champions League. Let's go. Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> my heart is racing. Patrick Schick and Jesse Lingard just saved us in the Champions League. Oh my god, thank you, 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 thank you. Oh, 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 my, oh my god. Oh, Malmo just beat Juve. Great. Alright, well, 
we have players on this last of duty with Rashford, Pogba, De Gea, McTominay, Bruno and Lindelof. Which means we have a uh, special sort of uh, thing. Uh, Hashini getting up there. Judan needs to get up a bit. Next episode we will be doing the youth. We'll be focused on the youth. Oh, ah. Man, we just did it. We just came away with that there. Alright, so we're going to play Rashford, Maguire, Lindelof. We'll play Lingard and Mata. I trust these, this, this, this squad of lads could get us to win. Point to Varney. We'll have to keep Sancho, he's been a star this season. We'll keep Shaw in, we'll keep Tahir in. I think we can win with this team. We'll take out McTominay, he deserves a rest. We'll bring in... Actually, you know what, no. We'll bring in Charlie Savage for this game. And then we'll simulate it. Chelsea Knight, okay. Okay. They're not doing as bad as in real life, but I think they're 15th or 16th. Deli out. They're not play Oh yeah, they can't play by the bit, can they? Because it will be violating the contract. You can't play against your team whilst you are legally signed to them. And we win. 2-1. Wamba Saka with two goals. Gets us the win. Damn. <laughs> but... We have a bit of an international break at the moment, so let's just get to the end of this. But Jesse Lingard is indeed back to his best self. He's just saved us, and... Okay, this will be a good place to end it. Okay, okay, okay. Mares gets Player of the Month. I hope you're enjoying that sound. But, ladies and gentlemen... I'm going to quickly set up the team for next episode, just whilst I'm here. Uh, this will be my outro. But, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to thank you all so much for watching. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this career mode as much as I am right now. Uh, we've got the extra challenge of having no Ronaldo, which I think captivates the audience a bit more, of having no Ronaldo for about eight months. Um, obviously, let me know down in the comments below if you want anything changing. Um, I'll take to that feedback pretty well. Um, we'll, we'll play for the first one. Um, I'm really enjoying this at the moment. Obviously, the short enough from last year, this is my favourite team in world football. Uh, they're the best team of all time. And uh, I've just... I just don't know what to say. So far, it's going really well, this career. But I just want to thank you all for showing such great support and inspiring me to uh, go ahead with this. To keep going, um, Captain Bruno. Yeah, left shot. No, right shot could go to. We'll give it to Pogba. Penalties. Bruno Fernandez, I guess. Left corner. No, he does right corner. Um, left corner could go to Bruno. Right corner goes to Tellers. As we all know, that Man United do that. So, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to thank you all so much for watching. Um, oh. Player of last episode is going to go to Cristiano Ronaldo. Obviously, he got injured at the end at the end of the episode, but he had a brilliant game against West Ham and I can't remember the other opponent. Um, oh yeah, Villarreal. Even though he didn't have a good performance there, he was really connected to play good, well, really well, and yeah, he is our player of the episode last episode. But for this episode, there is three nominations. We have Jesse Lingard, Zidane Iqbal, and Jadon Sancho. I'll decide on those three for the next episode, but ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you all so much for watching. Take care and goodbye.